Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to use the dynamic array filter function to filter by month and quarter. So let's get started. In the two previous video, we used the same data set, so we're going to maintain the same data set for this video also. So we have five columns, okay? We have the date, brand, payment, region, and total. And of course, we have formatted this data set as an Excel table. So we have the table design contextual on tab, and we have given data as the meaningful table name. Now, in order to achieve what we intend to do, okay, I need a little preparation. So for that, I'm going to choose any cell such as M5 and type in 0101-2021, okay? So this is going to be 4th of January, 2021. So still selecting the cell, in the home tab of the ribbon in the editing group i'm going to choose fill and i want to fill series now in the series dialog box i want to i want the series to be in columns and very importantly in the date unit i want month only and for the stop value i want to stop at 31st of december 2021 and that's all click ok so we have all the starting months that is 1st of January, 1st of February to 1st of December, okay? Now, I need the end of each of the month, okay? So for that, I'm going to use the EO month function. So equal sign EO month. Now, the EO month requires the start date, which is going to be 1st of January. And for the month arguments, I want to remain in the current month. That is, I want the end of each of the month. So I'm going to put in zero. Close the parenthesis, control enter. So we have the fourth of January. So double click and we have the end of the month. So this is exactly what we need. So I'm just going to select all of them. Okay, press control one. And in the format sales dialog box, I want a date and let's choose a different type. I'm going to go with this and that's all. Just click OK. All right, so I have this cell M2 and N2 here. So I need what is called a drop down in that cells. So for the start of month, I'm going to come to the data tab and choose under the data tools, data validation. And we want a list. Okay, and for the source, I'm going to select all the start of month and click OK. So you can do control down arrow key to select any of the months. All right, so let's do the same thing for the end of month, data validation, and we want a list. And for the source, we want the end of month values, and we click OK. And then we can do Alt, down arrow key, and choose April. Okay, now if you check in the formula bar, so for this, we can see that we have the 4th of April, 2021, and we have 30th of April 2021. So that is accurate. Now, before we filter our data set, I'm going to just paint this in white. So select all of them and we choose white and that's all. Now let's filter to see all the record generated for the month of April. So come to cell G2 equal sign. So we have the filter dynamic array function which filter a range or a list. So we're going to press the tab key. Now for the array, we want to select all the columns we want to return. And of course we have named that as data, okay? So comma. So for the include argument, since we have two criteria, which is start of month and end of month, I'm going to open parentheses and I want to check all this many side. I want to check, is it equal to or greater than the start of the month? Now, I don't need to apply F4 key because the result is going to spill to the neighboring columns and the neighboring rows, respectively. So close the first criteria. And since this is an logical operation, I'm going to use the asterisk sign. Open the second parenthesis. I want to check again this many side for the date. Is it less than or equal to the end of month? Close the second criteria close the filter and then control enter that's amazing now in order to check whether things is working pretty fine i'm going to apply filter and sort function 
So I want to sort by the first index, which is going to be date. Type in one. I want ascending order. Close the sort. Control enter. So we can actually see that we have the first of April. And when I do control down arrow key, we have the last day, which is the thirtieth of April. Now when I go to my drop down and let's say I want to choose another month. Let's choose August and let's choose the end of August here. Okay. So can you see that it's automatically updates? So we have the first of August and the last day of August, which is 31st of August. So this is how we filter by month using the dynamic filter function. Now let's go to the second one, which is the filter. Now we have the same data set. Okay. We have the meaningful table name sales data and of course we have our drop down in cell n2 and o2 so we have all the quarters here we have you know january march to december and of course we have all of them here also so we know that for the first quarter it is january first of january to 31st of march second quarter is um first of april to 30th of june and so on okay so let's apply the filter to filter by quarter so equal sign again filter function and for the include we want to return all the columns so i select that because the data set is, is, is taught as an excel table so comma and for the include since we have two criteria also just like the filter by month i'm going to open the first parenthesis and i want to check this many side are you greater than or equal to the beginning of the first quarter which is january then we close the first criteria and then we use the aesthetic sign as the and logical test open the second parenthesis i want to check the date are you less than or equal to the end of quarter one which is the 31st of march 2021 and that's all close the second criteria close the filter control enter and let's of course apply you know sort so that it can be more readable and verifiable so i want to sort by the first you know date which is this type in one and of course one the ascending order and we can close the sort function control enter so you can see that we have the first of january 2021 and when i do control down arrow key we have the record for the last day of the first quarter, which is 31st of March 2021. Now, when I change this to, let's see, the second quarter, which is going to be 4th of April, and which terminates at 30th of June, I believe. So it automatically updates. Okay, so everything is working fine. So this is essentially how we use the filter function to filter by month and quarter so if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it share and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so thank you and bye for now cheers